So, me and my creative genius, I've got the guys working on another project. Remember our deck that Lance and Michael built a few months back? Well, now Lance is back. He's over there with David. I think they're coming out this way. And I've got them um, working on this rail idea, you know, putting this rustic limb railing up around this deck, which I think is going to be pretty darn cool. So I have did a little sketch for them, and they're going to town cutting some logs up right now to get ready to put the post up. So I'll keep you progress on how that's going. Wow, David and Lance have got a pretty good handle on this, I think. I think it's looking kind of cool. They've got all the, uh, looks like they've got them all secured up. They put uh, lag bolts everywhere, so it's really strong, sturdy. And they got it all the way around. They got the top rail, the bottom rail. Of course, we're not finished yet. Next comes my job here. These little centerpieces. I'm going to do a little decorative idea. Kind of make it look like a metal insert. And there, and there, and there. And then we're going to, in between all these pieces, we're going to put some of the little craggly limbs. Make it look a little bit more rustic. Even. So yeah, you got to check it out after I put my little pizzazzy on it. here that I cut out with a jigsaw and I'll cut out my leaves and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'll paint it so you'll be able to see the painting process as I go along see how it turns out. All right well now that I've got one two three of these panels cut out they're looking pretty sharp I must say I do like them um, I gotta paint them. I'm gonna put the first, like I said, I'm gonna try to make them look sort of like metal, like rusted metal. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just put a base coat of a real dark brown on here. I got some exterior, since it's gonna be an outside to deal, got some exterior brown paint. I'll slap that on there and then I'll do my little faux magic on it and kind of give it an aged effect with a couple other colors. So, here we go. Okay, well you can see the final result here of the boards. Um, I've got, I put my little, like I said, my faux magic on there. Give it a little bit of a, um, took it down a little bit with some copper paint. I'll show you what I used here. Um, just basic little craft paint, metallic copper, nothing really fancy. And then I had some orange paint here which I took a sponge and basically just kind of washed it on there and uh, then I put a seal coat on it and I think it came out really really nice when the lights on there you can definitely see some of the metallic and it gives it a nice uh, metal kind of effect so we got that one and you can see we've got them on the deck it's looking really really sharp and they got this one over here I actually had somebody that works with metal come up and go wow those are is that metal <laughs> So I was pretty impressed if I can fool somebody that actually works with metal from a distance. So really I'm just kind of gives the deck an, like a, of course an arty feel, but it makes it more inviting. It just kind of entices you to want to come out and hang on the deck, at least it does to me, because it looks really cool. 
I really like it. That's the way it's coming along. So our first little finished off shed um, slash cabin. This is one that's called Charity and um, it's just basically our was our storage shed and we saw that Michael had been finishing out. So let's go take a peek. You see he put a window in the door here. He closed in the side of the door so it's kind of a wall now. But I think he's done a kind of a cool job. Look at here. He's got a little bit of trim work to do still. But however, he's got all the walls finished off, the ceilings finished off. He even took uh, a little cabinet that was from the previous camp that we had and got that all finished out. And we've got our futon in here from our house in Florida. Makes into a queen size bed. Still got a little work. We're gonna build some partition walls and but uh, hey, it's it's pretty much I mean it's definitely sleepable right now. It's gonna get it cleaned up and it'll be good to go. So our very first guest cabin. Aw, cute. Okay, folks, walk with me, talk with me. I'm just giving you a little preview here of what's to come. Okay, there is our shop. Beyond that is the Wallapini. Oh, well, it soon will be a Wallapini. It's the beginning of it. There's the big hole that's been dug like last year uh, that will eventually turn into our Wallapini all along there. And this whole section here, which I've showed before, is our gardening area. I mean, we've got a pretty nice little, beautiful one day. It's going to be like an art garden in there. It'll be really neat. However, see? This space, let's take a little walk down the trail here. You can see all of these trees. It goes down quite a ways along the bank. The bank, in other words, the bank's down there, the river's over there, and then these are the trees. So, this whole section, all the way down to that trail, whatever, this is going to be cleared out. Yep. I had to give it up and realize that we need to open up this space to be able to put our buildings and whatnot. I'm a, I'm a big tree person, but anyway, they're all coming down. Mm, guys going to probably start hopefully next week, and uh, it's going to put a lot more sunlight in here. Uh, it's going to be very, very different. It's going to look a lot different, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So he'll be working for a few weeks pulling out all these trees. All right, guys, here they go. The crew is getting started. They're going to start dropping some of these trees along the trail there. It's the beginning of the nest for a few weeks, I'm sure. These guys are out cutting away on all these logs, uh, taking out quite a few trees. I love my trees, but they really need to go because we've got to have the space. But well, guys, you might not be able to tell the difference, but I surely can. This has turned into quite a mess here with these guys logging. They've got a lot of, uh, obviously a lot of limbs are down, um, and this is just the beginning of the trail. You know, there's stuff all over the trail. This is to be expected when you're clearing an area, but uh, it's going to require us getting in here and, uh, look at all that, getting in here, all hands on deck and clearing this stuff out, getting all the limbs uh, cut up and See what we can salvage and mulch or burn, whatever we're gonna do. But yeah, there's it's just a lot of stuff. It was not our last well, I hate to say this, but um, poor Dave got stuck with another chore that was supposed to be mine. I was gonna do the staining. He's out there with a sprayer that thank you, Joe Bork, donated us to finally get it to use. Uh, spraying the shop. However, the darn thing is very vibrating and heavy, and I knew that I could not handle it with my hands and wrists. It just didn't have the strength. So, my baby's out there doing it again, spraying it up, getting it covered.